we're going to look at the answers um, in terms of how we compute the linear regression and answer these questions using Desmos. Um, so the first thing we want to do is enter the data into Desmos. And so we have to remember that the day since January is our input values and our price per gallon of gas is our output value. So in Desmos, we're going to add a new item and we're going to add a table and we're going to enter that information just as you see it there. Okay, so our information is entered into Desmos, and then we're going to start a new line, and this time we're going to type in y is approximately equal to, so the little tilde, a x plus b, and we want y1 and x Oops, 1, and this gives us the information in terms of the slope and the vertical intercept. Okay, so we see here that um, A is our slope and B is our vertical intercept, and so we are going to um, write the linear regression, so P of D. So the price is a function of the day since January 7th is equal to 0 0.015, we run around to the thousandth, so 7D plus 2.877. And now we want to evaluate P of 41. And so we want to go back to Desmos and we want to put this, make this a function now. So we want F of X equals ax plus b, so it's using the parameters of a and b to state that, and now we're going to evaluate the function at f of 41, and we get our answer of $3.52 based on um, this information here. So we know that p of 41 equals three dollars and fifty and since we're talking about um, dollars and cents three dollars and fifty two cents per gallon and if we were to do 41 it's not that far off it's three dollars and fifty five three dollars and fifty two so the model is pretty accurate so now we want to state the meaning of the rate and this is the rate 0 0.0157 so each day since January 7th, 2013, the price of gas increases by, well, over a penny a day, 157 cents per gallon. So now I want to state the meaning of the vertical intercept, and we know that the vertical intercept is 2.877, and so that means on January 7th of 2013, the price of gas was $3.00. I'm sorry, $2.87 per gallon. Now we want to talk about the window and why we would adjust the window so that we can see. So right now we're only seeing part of our graph over here in Desmos. And I'm going to just minimize that so we can see a little bit more. And so we want to go back and we want to look at what our data is telling us. And so our data is telling us we want to go our inputs from 7 to 41. And so we want to see everything, so we want to go from 0 to 50. So our least value was 7, and our greatest value was 
was 41 and we just want to capture those values. And then how would we count those? Well, we'd probably count by fives. And then we want to look at our outputs. It's $3.04, $3.55. So maybe we want to go from $3 to $3.60. And we can count this by five cent increments. And so again, our least value that needs to be captured is $3.04. And our greatest value was $3.55. So in Desmos, most of the time you can just move this, but if we, you know, you can just slide it. But we want to get some to use these particular values. And so we're going to go to the wrench up here, and then you type in exactly as what we said. And if you just double click on that, or not wanting to, so zero, and our x's are going to go from zero to 50, and we want to count by five. That would be the step. And then we want our y's to go from three dollars to three dollars and 60 cents. And we want to go by 0 0.05, and then we'll just click off of that. And the nice thing about Desmos, you can actually see the points pretty easily. You see that it's close to being linear, but not exactly. And so here is our linear function, our, our function that's uh, the line here. And so we can see the entire thing. Now we want to solve, so this last question is solve three, P of D equals 380. So that means that we are going to have to create another function and say y equals $3.80 because we want to find out where that intersection is. So I'm going to add another line down at the bottom and I'm just going to say y, type in y equals $3.80 and then I'm going to go back to my graph and this time I'm just going to use my, I'm just going to kind of move the graph so that I can find $3.80 and I know I had to move up some and then I'm just going to click on that point. You'll see that it gets um, kind of superimposed there and then when you click on it it'll hold it. So we know that the answer is $58.96. So we have P of 58.96 is equal to $3.80. Or if we want to write that in a complete sentence, we'd say 58.96 days after January 7th of 2013, the price of gas was $3.80 a gallon.